Hey team, how's it going? Hey, well done, clever touch, coming your way. So how do you operate it? So as you're about to get your clever touch, we are gonna go through some training. I'll be there to be able to go through that with you, but in the meantime, because I'm traveling at the moment, I thought I'd send you this. This is how it will look when you get your clever touch. Once you've turned it on, it'll show you this screen. And with the screen, you've got these little arrows to the side, both sides, so you can stand either side. When you press that, it comes up with this menu here. We're just gonna go through whiteboard and files, the real basics of those. So whiteboard, hit that. Now I've changed the background to be dark because of the way the video works. Doesn't really like to have a brighter background. Makes me invisible. So I've got it here. And then what I've made sure is because my background is dark, I've turned my pencil and turned that white. So you've got your background, which you can change. It by default will go to black as your pen, but because I've changed the background to black, got my pen to white. So now I can write. Now let's say I'm writing something here and something doesn't quite make sense and you want to get rid of something. You've got options here, which are your basic ones, which is your arrow to select, your pencil, your auto uh, text, then your auto maths, <laughs> your calculator, uh, your eraser, and then your bin. And then you've got shapes and your hand and the art for some painting. So going to the beginning, the pointer for selecting. I can select a part of this and then move it around. It's not supposed to be there, that's supposed to be here. The pen, I can write with that or change the color. I can change the thickness and the style as well. So if I wanted to go use that and change the thickness, now it writes with a thicker style. And now I wanna go into auto text. So what I'll do, Press auto text. Sandy. Yes. So it will have a look at your writing and then give the best version of what it thinks you're trying to say. So it's not going to be 100% depending on how messy your writing is. Let's go to X plus Y. Quickly do this right now. X plus Y because I've got it on black. Background, I'll make sure that I've got it on white. So when I'm writing, 5 plus 12 equals question mark. And this is what you'll see. 5 plus 12 equals question mark. Press the arrow again to make it stick. Now all I need to do is press the question mark. And there's your answer. So there's your calculator. You've got your auto text the calculator, the eraser, oh, don't need this bit here. I can circle this. Don't need to circle anything else, just that bit there. And it gets rid of it. Gets rid of it. Gone, Berger. The next part here is the bin. It's pretty self-explanatory. Press that, everything's gone. Whew. And then your shapes, press it again. Got your shapes options, your 3D, your 2D. The hand moves things. So let's say I've created something. Going back to the pen, I've got a lesson here that has all sorts of different things hanging off it. And then I'm running out of space. So this is when I can use the hand. Moving that across, I can keep going now. Go back to the pen, and it's going here, and that's going here, and that's going, and that makes this big thing here. And I might go, hmm. Now this is all part of a bigger picture. I can go back to the hand, watch this. With two fingers. Now I can make this part of a bigger picture. Go back to the pencil. This here is all part of something else which is a subset of something else which is a subset of and I can keep going. Press the hand. 
And you can keep going and keep going. There is a limit to how big it can get and also how small you can make things. So those are some basic functions of the whiteboard. Let's move to files. This one's going to be pretty easy. Now there is a floating pencil, which you can move around to wherever you are. The thing with this is this will take you home. It's like Dorothy's shoes. It will take you home. See this little house here? Home. And then when you get home, press the side here, whiteboard we went into, files. And I've got a USB stick in there, so now I can access my USB stick, or internal storage, or my cloud drive. But I've got a USB stick with some files in there. Now I just access those. Because I saved something on the USB stick that was a whiteboard file, I can now continue on with what I was teaching. Whoops, it was still on the hand. Go back to the pencil, and I can now continue on. And then once I've finished, I can save it to the USB stick. Go to the side here, those three bars. I can save. Now I can go to the USB stick. OK. And give it a name. Pop, 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 pop one. Pop one. Now it's saved. I can take the USB stick out and then carry on somewhere else and then keep going. So that's integrating the whiteboard and files. We'll go into more details of what else you can do very soon. But in the meantime, those are two good things to learn for now. Cheers.